After all this digging, it was finally time to start writing my book. But of course, Maxwell knew exactly what I was doing. And he did two things. First of all, he hired several private investigators, not only follow me, but extraordinarily set up secretly some sort of electronic device at the bottom of my garden in my home in North London and be able to read what I was writing as I was typing it up. And secondly, he commissioned his own book, The Flattering uh, Hagiography. Why don't you quote Goldman Sachs, who says that only all other British businessmen were like Mr. Ralph Maxwell. That's the best quote that you can get. Well, I had no doubt as I got towards the end of the book, that Maxwell tried to prevent it being published. And so I persuaded the publishers without much trouble that we should print it out of England and import it into England as a gardening book. So it would say something, you know, flowers of Britain or flowers of China on the packaging, so that his attempts to steal it, intercept it at the, at the ports would be unsuccessful. Publishers have for years been after me, asking me to authorize or write my own biography. I've always refused. In the end, one of those publishers decided to hire somebody who did a hatchet job on me, Mr. Bauer. Since I have to protect my reputation, I'm suing these people for libel, and any bookseller who handles the book is in danger of having to pay huge damages. Then came the avalanche. Maxwell issued writs like confetti. This week, Bauer got what may prove to be just the first writ. There were not only writs against me and the publishers, but writs against all the bookshops, and also writs against the distributors of books. And like a pack of cards, they all collapsed. The establishment was on Maxwell's side. He used terrorist tactics to suppress the truth, suppress the book, and he won.